Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the interface for Adobe After Effects and also the workspaces and how you can customize the workspace. So let's get started. As you launch After Effects, this is the welcome screen. We get the welcome screen and this is just a bunch of tutorials. What's new, a bunch of tutorials, hands-on tutorials um, and all in app tutorials. There's a lot of information for you guys to start learning After Effects. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and jump into a new project and this is what After Effects looks like without any project opened. I'm going to go through the different panels and then I'm going to open up a project and show you the workspaces. So starting up at the top that's the toolbox with all the tools. Right underneath the toolbox is the project panel or the project window. This, And if you notice whenever I click on one of these panels it highlights with a blue line around it. And so you know exactly what you are uh, working with because some of the stuff may not be available. Some of the menus may not be available depending on the panel that you're working on. So this is the project panel and this is where all your assets will reside. This is where all your assets will be imported to all the assets that you will use in a in a animation it could be photos it could be audio it could be vector graphics it could be videos all that stuff will will show up here and compositions we'll talk about that later at the bottom is your timeline which is divided into two parts this is the layers and the timeline layer timeline this is the timeline panel and this is the composition panel or the composition window. This is where you get to preview what's going on with the uh, timeline. Composition. To the right is the info panel, the preview panel with the preview play buttons, the effects and presets, and in this panel there's a couple of uh, uh, panels nested it's the effects and presets and the libraries. So they're nested uh, within each other. And up here at the top, these are your workspaces. Right now it's set to the standard, but we've got a small screen workspace, uh, an animation workspace, uh, the default workspace, learn workspace, and others, color. And you can see that there's different things open for different workspaces minimal there's only there's only two panels open and you can try these depending on the work that you do you can try these presets these are workspace presets motion tracking motion tracking it opens up the tracker for you so you don't have to and there's a bunch of workspaces presets already you can also get to these here in the workspace and there they are all of them. I'm going to set it back to the standard workspace. The workspace is very much customizable. You can customize it. You can move these windows. If I place my my mouse in between these lines you can see that I can adjust the panel size um, either vertically or horizontally. I can adjust these panels and I also can add different panels. For example, here are all the panels. I want to open my effects control and, and it gets nested in the project panel. So I've got two nested panels here. These, these are the effects controls and the project panels. Also, if I wanted to maybe open up one um, characters, it's up here. On the, it gets nested here along with the effects presets. You can also drag these out. For example, the library. If I grab it, I can drag it out and place it somewhere else. I can also, let's say that I open up this learn panel and it's floating, it's a floating panel, it doesn't have anywhere. I could dock it or, or place it. I, I have to grab it by the name and I can place it underneath these panels 
and dock it in this area. So now I have my project panel, I've got my effects control panel, and I've got my learn panel right there. And I can also delete it or remove it. Undock panel or close panel. Undock uh, converts it into a, a floating panel again and or close which you can also click on the red dot. Uh, and that's all the workspace stuff. Um, also you can save, let's say that you do want that learn. I'm gonna open it up again. And dock it right underneath this. And this workspace that I just created with the character open, or the character panel open, uh, and and everything the way I set it, exactly the way I set it, I can save this work uh, workspace. All I have to do is go to Window Workspace and save as new workspace. Call it my workspace. Say okay, and I can I can have access to it right here. For example, let's say that I go to the text workspace or minimal workspace. I can also click on my workspace, and everything that I've set up for me is there. So having having done that, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Let's import a file import file and I'm going to import a logo that I have in Illustrator. I'm going to click on composition, create composition and open. All of my layers from my Illustrator file are here and I've created a composition. If I double click on it, it will open up in the composition window. I mean, in, I'm sorry, the timeline window and you can preview it here in the composition window. This is the composition for that logo. And so again, all, all of it doesn't have any animation yet because we haven't animated anything, but all of, the, all of the elements from that Illustrator file came in as a layer also here, and we can animate any of these, any of these uh, elements. We can, anim we can certainly animate them here in after effects and that's what after effects is all about again this is the timeline layers project window effects control here's the information here usually there is the effects presets and the preview i hope that this has been helpful just to review the interface and we're going to animate this logo in a later video um, keep an eye out for that but for now I just wanted to cover the interface and the workspaces next is just to go over the basic animation properties how can we start animating these elements and and so that's our next video we're gonna start animating this logo in the next video so if you like the video, go ahead and comment and subscribe, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.